Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. We're in Alpha 13 in our town of Cougar's Hope, and we've got some excitement ahead of us. We got bugs. Now let's go ahead and read this finally. A bug hive has emerged. It will slowly spawn bugs as well as produce additional hives. If you don't want it to infest the whole area, muster your forces and destroy it. But beware, the bugs will defend their hive. So, that's where we ended last time. I was reading notes from last episode, and one in particular kind of stood out to me uh, from uh, from Dwayne. For starters, he was talking about uh, about his operation and and uh, you know uh, kind of signified the scene of of uh, you know right after his operation and me noticing his new leg. And he he writes, "The snozberries taste like snozberries." He sounded an awful lot like Gene Wilder when he said it. But something else that he said in that note that really caught my attention, it, it really kind of blew me away, because we ended looking at this. He said, you do realize that um, there's one in the freezer, right? No. <laughs> that one I didn't notice. So, that's what we have up against us right now. But before we get into this what else needs to be looked at I mean, we've got ev most everybody over here fighting a fire and our home zone blue house right there Vapa you don't have to go into expand to find home there it's, they've already got it designated for you so home zone there and looks like all the fire is going to stay within long enough for them to get it out and this was a lot bigger before so they're doing a good job they'll be done here in a moment um, power was something I was questioning. Why are we not catching up with power? And I realized that our turrets have been on ever since that last raid. So let's turn that off. Oh, it's right there. Second, it didn't click. Okay, turn that one off, and this guy, turn him off. All right, so somebody would get to those. Now, is that, well, is that it? I think it is. Still need to get in fine tune all of this, but uh, that will get done. Um, the experiment is to see if we can freeze them out rather than burn them out. I've already reset the Boomalope territory zone to not include right here. So the Boomalopes are going to start leaving. I don't know if they're going to get out of there in time. These hives are going to pop soon. If you look at the hives, they reproduce in one day 23 hours, one day 15 hours, one day 15 hours, and two days and one hour. That's when the next wave comes out of them. But they're going to pop their, their first wave here any second now. As soon as I turn the game on, I would imagine that's going to happen. So what is there to be doing? Let's make sure that nobody can just walk in and grab a meal for starters we could turn these down you know double click on them that brings them all up and then you can decrease them by whatever you want take this down to really cold hmm this will have a better chance at it like let's make sure that's toggled on let's see this one he is on already, and he's green. Okay, we did toggle that one, but nobody's walked over to flip the switch yet. So that one's ready to be turned on. And we probably should get somebody to do that. Um, most everybody's over here. Bran and Nettie over here. Brand, you're in good shape. Can you come over and flick that switch? I need to forbid this door in case anybody wants to bring some kibble in. But I don't want to do that until these uh, boomalips have gotten out. And we've got Rookie in here, so we actually have a named animal. So he's not actually Rookie. He's not bonded to anybody. So that's that's good. Um, what else should be done before we uh, open the floodgates, so to say? I'm, I'm, I'm debating right now about what to do. This we want to turn on. We want to try and chill them out. 
this might work well. It's a smaller space. There's only one of these, so that's a problem. But it is still the 12th of winter. So we still have, well, 56 degrees, though it's 7 o'clock at night. It's going to get colder. So we have cold temperatures surrounding it, which is going to aid in how quickly we can drop temperature in here. In here, we have some cold temperature here. We have some warm temperature here and warm temperature here and a really hot temperature here. The heat that I am venting out of here, 99 degrees, over here 70 degrees, is having a hard time getting through this door, which I thought was kind of interesting. So this warmth is going to kind of you know, affect how quickly this is going to cool down. This warmth is going to affect it. The, the temperature does migrate through the walls a little bit. So even though there are two coolers instead of one, this is a lot bigger space and there's a lot more warmth up against it. There's no warmth against this. So I think this is the one that's going to cool the fastest. So this one, I would say if we can get the boom lobes out, we'll try and freeze them out. Um, if that doesn't work, then we'll have to send in a boom lobe and somebody with a with a charge rifle and just bang, bang, bang and, and blow them up and, and use them as bug bombs like they were intended to be. We've got a turret in here and it's live. So when they pop, we're going to have a little bit of, uh, of uh, thrill at, right at this point. But this is the one that we can most likely take them out. And one thing to think about, everybody over here, and that's most of us, now I say most of us are here, we've been fighting a fire for a while. They're hungry. They're hungry. So we can't wait for them to eventually freeze. We need our meals. So this one we're going to have to do a little bit of a shootout. We'll let them maybe take out the turret and go boom and maybe that'll injure. If we're lucky they'll all be piled there. Otherwise we only have wooden doors in here. That's because it didn't seem to be a need to do anything more. Now I see there is. We should at least put steel in here. Yeah, I'll probably swap these out for steel doors. Or we could even put in the granite doors, uh, auto doors, so they open and close quickly. Are these all auto doors? They're not. They're wooden doors which move fairly fast without being auto doors. These are auto doors. Okay. But... Hmm... I think we're going to fight this one. We're going to shoot out this one. We're going to freeze this one. Let's turn it on. Boom loops are leaving. Come on, number three. Oh, number three didn't get there. Number three is trapped. Forbid that door. Three is down. Health. Down significantly, too. So three is going to go boom before too long. Brand was on his way to turn that on. We've got hatchlings in here. One, two, three. So what are these things? A mega scarab. Large genetically engineered beetle. Once the worker cast of an artificial ecosystem of insectoids designed to fight mechanoid invasions. Oh, who writes this stuff? Is now usually seen without its deadlier insectoid cousins. Still, its size and hard shell make it dangerous when it attacks. <laughs> a a eusocial creature. There's a thesaurus word for you. It cannot reproduce individually. Okay. Versus a mega spider not actually a spider a mega spider is a genetically engineered giant insectoid the size of a bear designed for heavy work and combat its thick chitinous armor makes it hard to kill chitinous I know from from uh, uh, Skyrim otherwise I would have said yeah, I would not have said that right while well, its long deadly ripper blades make it deadly it's deadly ripper blades make it deadly. <laughs> and you are a spellopede. Spellopede? Medium sized bioengineered bug the size of a sheep. The spellopede is the middle cast of a hive, taking care of most work tasks as well as fighting with its claws. Um, 
Do we have as meat amount? Do we have damage amount? 10%. Melee. DPS. Damage per second. 5.6. The big guy. 7.5. The little guy. 3.7. Damage per second. Alright, that's what we're up against. These two, I hope, are coming down to help fight the turret. Good. It's going to go boom. There's no, no way around that. When it does, it'll at least put some... Oh, there's a, another one. Oh, come on, guys. Everybody down here. Don't run away. Ah. Darn. Ooh. That wasn't a good... Well, when we put that in, this wall wasn't here. That should have been moved. We just took out our vent. So we are now completely open to both of them. And these guys didn't take any damage. Darn. I was so hoping they were all going to go boom. All right. These guys are going to roam around. They're going to pick at this and that once in a while. I worry about this. So, Bran was in pretty good shape. He is still on his way. Let's let him do this job. Colonist, Rokes, that would probably be a gut worm thing. Yeah. Otherwise, you guys are all pretty much done. Then they're going to be heading in looking for meals soon. We are all blocked off. We are. We do have some meals here. Well, eight of them. That's going to help. And we've got the ability to make simple meals out of corn and meat and rice. We have 54 of them. There's eight over here. So that means there's 46 in here. Okay. Well then, as they eat these eight, drop us below 50, they should start making more. Theoretically. Let's up... Ah, suspended. Okay. Suspend fine meals. We're going to go only for simple meals. We're going to unsuspend you. We're going to take you up to 60. You up to 60. And we're going to suspend you. Fine meals take a lot more food. We have very little food. We have some meat out here. Some meat there. So we can do some... I think simple meals do not have to have vegetables and meat. They can just have uh, from one ingredient. Okay, so we can keep butchering animals and keep making meat and keep making meals. Alright, so that's fine. Let's make sure that Rabbit is back on cooking and make sure that Natalia is on cooking. Yes. All right, so the food, I think, is going to be okay. All right. One step at a time here. But, Brand, as soon as you flick that switch, I'm thinking you need to be stationed here. If they start picking away at this door here, or really any of these doors, then... In fact, I'm going to forbid these. If they do pick away at it when I'm not looking, not you, right there, then that's a, f a free pass for anybody else, if this is gone, to walk through this door to go get a meal. So if they pick through this, I've got to have noticed this is our insurance policy, that nobody walks into the room, or they're going to meet the fate of that boomalope. So, Brand, you're going to go sit by the... Psychic Insanity Lance, in case I've got to stop somebody from attacking a door to get out. They can pick away at the walls all they want. That'll be fine. But I need to keep them contained just yet. Let's let everybody come in. Oh, they're almost done here. Grab a meal, get a rest, and let's let the cold do its thing. Double click. Well, let's zoom in here. Double click. And take you guys down a whole bunch. So now we're down in this negative 70 range. Let's let this cool down. Maybe it'll slow them. This guy's turned on. Indoors were 44. Outdoors were 53. 
so we're cooling. Has miscarried due to poor health. Oh no! Boomalope 3 was pregnant. Oh! Wow! I didn't know that was a thing in this game. <sighs> Bad news. Okay. So our baby Boomalope didn't happen. Do miscarried babies go boom? Hmm. This one is eventually going to go boom. Radar is... I did assign that, didn't I? Mm, I'm going to cancel that. But thanks for reminding me. Let's instead... Um, that's not it. Haul. Radar, haul that one. Is that going to let the door close? Really? Okay. Radar, walk through the door. Everybody's behaving here, right? Yeah. Okay, you're through the door. And walk out. That's not it. Try that. Needs treatment. Nettie. Gut worms. Go through the door again. And go out. There it closed. Forbid. Alright, if they do punch through here, there's one more barrier. Alright. Have fun. Now, is anybody else doing anything unexpected? And Brand, how are you just sitting out here? Needs? You're okay for a little while longer. Then we'll pick somebody else. The problem is, if they start tapping away at this, I've got two or three seconds. And getting somebody from bed to get over to here, it's going to be too late. They're going to be out. Well, that's not so much a bad thing. I gotta think about that. Is that a bad thing? Well, they're gonna kill all of our animals, so that that's a bad thing there. But we could potentially lure them into the gauntlets. We'll throw this door open right here. Though it seems like I've heard that they only go so far from their nest, then they return. We might not be able to get them into here, and then they're gonna be out of the uh, out of the bag. So, no. We'll leave them in there. This is going to go boom after a while. Temperature? 28. We'll see how far down we can go before that boom lope goes boom. Otherwise, let's take a look at, uh, at moods. Nettie's in good shape. I think we... Uh, 2100. Let's let these guys fall asleep. Hopefully, we will have some capacity. Vapor's getting a rest. Yeah, let's let, the, let these guys go to sleep. And then we'll set somebody up in all the different doors and see what we can do. See if we can get our... If we can win our, our freezer back. Otherwise, nobody seems to be attacking anything. Let's just kind of stay here for a while and watch. Um, nobody's moving down here. One, two. There's one right there. Dead. Okay, he's dead. You, wandering, wandering. Weren't there four? I thought there were. Beavers? <laughs> okay. A group of hungry alpha beavers has just arrived. Try to eliminate them before they decimate every last tree in the region. Jump to location. Are you all on the map? I think you are. Your hunt. Yeah, you go have a ball, guys. Go hunt them down. Um. Oh. Oh. I wasn't going to do any more hunting until I selected all the turtles on the map. So that everybody who is selected to hunt can go and get target practice and get their skills up and there's a bunch of them <sighs> all right we're gonna just take well boy 
the best ones I want to be here fighting. The worst ones may trigger a beaver, alpha beaver revenge. Huh. Okay, boy, I wish I had Ronnie back. <laughs> she was a great hunter. Eric is too. He's got a sniper rifle. Which means he's not going to do much good in here. But he could still take out Alpha Beavers from a distance. Let's leave Eric to hunt. Right there. Let's take everybody else back to a four. Eric. Four. Most everybody else is going to have other things to do. Especially hauling. So Eric's the only one that's going to get triggered, right? Repair. Research. Let's just verify. Let's just prove or make sure of that. Okay. Dwayne. How many got the order to go hunting? Maybe none. Yeah, everybody's in bed. Okay. So, that's that. These guys, apparently there's just two. I'm waiting for them to fall asleep. Is that really an issue? You. Health. That didn't work. No injuries and no injuries. Yeah, that's kind of an issue. Need to get a little bit of advantage. I think these guys can move a, a fairly uh, quick distance when they when they start to run and attack. And here everyone's behaving. I haven't seen any mining yet. Boomalope. There's no... Well, I guess there is a trigger. That red line right there decreases. When it gets to the end, then we go boom. I was going to say in health, there's nothing really to tell you when the countdown is, is going to go off. Uh, front leg, right leg, both cut off. Yeah, these guys will decapitate, will you know, take off body parts really fast. So any of our people getting inside and getting tangled up with them are going to be injured badly. So we do have to really be careful when we do come in here to fight them. Um, so that's our timer on the boomalope. The red over the boom right there will decrease to zero. Otherwise, did... Eric may be sleeping. He just might be. Let's think about waking him up. Eric is where now? He's over here. Mood, needs... Ah, uh, his rest is a little rough there. Okay. Critical... Dwayne... That's Gutworm again, most likely. So these guys are hauling, mining. Okay. Is there anyone else I want to set to hunt? Let's think this through. We do have Na uh, Natalia for cooking. Let's go ahead and let Rabbit get out and do some hunting. He hasn't done that in a long time. We'll do that. We'll let him loose. He's probably sleeping, though. Actually, I kind of need him to be doctoring, too. Alright. You're up, Eric. <laughs> Both of them said, Heck with that. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> okay. So their sleep was higher priority than hunting. Or doctoring. That was interesting. Okay. We're all asleep here. Break down heater. That's fine. Are we asleep here? We are. Let's do this. Who have we got? Eric's not going to help unless we swap his weapons out. Of course, that might be really smart. Do we have a charge rifle left? I don't think we do. Oh! My mouse is sitting on it. My eyes are over here, but my mouse is sitting right there over a shoddy and a normal. Eric, let's swap out for now with that guy. Now, who else? Cassie needs. You need food. You have a pistol. Kathra, you need food, but you have a charge rifle. I think I want charge rifles in here. So, let's get Kathra a quick meal and get her up. Who else? Vapa. You are in pretty good shape. Natalia. Pistol. Vapa. Alright, let's charge rifle you two. Come over and grab this one. 
Uh, yeah, so there's two right there. Nettie and Brand. Brand. Sorry, Brand. Why don't you, uh, um, go get some sleep? <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna grab a meal. Tell you what, you can still join into the battle. You've got a charge rifle. Who else is out here? Nettie, where did you ever end up? You went running out this way, didn't you? Nettie. Right there. You're... What are you doing? Refueling the fuel generator. You've got a charge rifle. You are in great shape. Okay, you're the first one into position. Let's unforbid. They are hovering over here. I'm going to send most of them through here. One of them right there. Now I'm sending them all through here. So, Nettie... Right there. You are drafting and heading into here. Then, who is next? Eric, you just got here, right? Yeah, you're hunting Alpha Beaver. Needs, you're good. Draft, you're heading to here. Who's next? Vapa's grabbing a rifle. Brand is grabbing a meal. He'll jump in as soon as he's done eating. So, Nettie. Kathra? You as well. You and Bran are both eating. Vapa's got his, his rifle. He is now drafted, heading into here. Who's next? Eating and eating. Bran is... Bran's the only civilized one. He's going to the table, dang it. Alright, you... Rifle, resting... Yeah, I'm gonna let you. Radar, it's only got a pistol. Alright, Vapa's heading into there. Cathra is available now. So, Draft, you're heading into here. Brand, you're very close to being ready. Yep. Yeah. Draft, you're with Cathra. Alright, Unforbid. Unforbid. You guys... into here brand you're going here instead when they come down you'll grab them from the top okay uh, guys tell you what Kathra you're first you're back out of there all right you're out of there Okay, you're out of there. And Vapa's out of there. Brand. Oh. Brand, you're in there. Just go. Okay. There's a distraction. You guys are going to make it out of there. Brand, you can stay a little bit longer. No, you're out of there. Brand. There's a brand. Okay. You guys have made it out. Yes. <clears throat> Vapa. Health. Right hand cut. Whole body bleeding. He got hit once. And that was pretty serious. So, Vapa. Head to the hospital bed. Undraft. All right. With that, Nettie. Yeah, you go there. You'll run right through the middle, but that'll be fine. Kathra, go here. Eric, go there. Gotcha. All of you guys, head into here. Brand. As soon as... Actually, just go right here. Okay, Bran, hop out. Go there. Okay, you guys, you're out of here. And we're done. Downed. Dead. Fresh. Frozen. Won't spoil. <laughs> we're flash freezing these things. Where'd the other one go? Is he underneath here? 
He is. Downed. All right. You guys, undraft. Anything been going on up here? It's, it's so hard having more than one front. Okay. You're out of there. Brand, how about you? Draft. I can't hunt these guys. It's not an option. Uh, go there. And fire out. Actually, no. You're undrafted. Who do we got? That needs some some uh, skilling up. Like Radar. Or Natalia. Or... There's nobody awake. Radar. Resting. Hmm. Let me look this way. Cassie hunting was low. Where's Cassie? Right there, consuming a fine meal. Pistol. All right. Cassie, you come in here and actually go uh, like this. If I put you right here, you might shoot the wall a whole bunch. We'll have to repair it. But that opens up the kitchen again. Right? Yeah. Let's keep an eye on this. We're still fine here. We still have, boom, most of an M. They're not... Some are sleeping. It is four in the morning. Some are waking up. So we're going to have to watch that one now. Cassie's here. Cassie, can you fire at Mega Spider? That was it? Dead, fresh, frozen. Well, that wasn't all that exciting. Okay, we have a mega spider. Let's throw back in temperature vent to there. And probably not rebuild that turret. I think that's a done deal. You guys haul out the slag chunks. And so that's done. Nothing got destroyed. Everything's been unforbidden. Uh, you guys take back down like three. Where are you at now? Negative 16. Oh, I got into that one. Okay. So add one more. You are 2 and 14. That's still well below freezing. This guy... 142. Yeah, let's take you back to 70. All right. That's all been taken care of. We've got alpha beavers to deal with. And Rabbit and Eric are set to do that. We can babysit that a little bit. But I'm thinking we're going to save this for next time. Half the job is done. Next time we'll get into the other half. Which is going to be a little more interesting. Temperature in here, we're at negative 13. Anything really happening yet? Health. Do have any kind of hypothermia? Shivering. So the little guy is starting to feel it. Okay. Shivering. Rear right leg is crushed. Probably from the boomalope. So they're going to start losing body parts here and there, I'm guessing. Um, I'm not seeing anywhere that we have taken out enough to where we're one wall thick in here. So we're fine there. So, yep, yeah, I'd say that uh, we got off pretty good over here. Our food is back. Oh, we still have this. Oh, almost missed that. Cassie, draft, can you? Fire at Hive. Nettie, draft. Go here. We gotta take care of this before something else pops out of here. Uh, Nettie, or uh, Cassie, go there. Nettie, go there. Manuel, draft, go there. Dwayne, draft, go there. All right, we good? We're good. Fire at Hive. I wonder. That's four of them. Can I tell all of you? Not Dwayne. So, Dwayne, you just go here and fire at Hive. There's the hit points. Okay. 
this will, in one day and 15 hours, if it doesn't get cold enough, it will uh, uh, let off another round of bugs in here. So we're going to take that out. Okay. You guys undraft this unforbid. And I think we're back to normal. Over here, we're still good. Yes. All right, we're going to call it done here then. Lots of excitement. This guy got taken care of? No, nope, but I'm sure he will eventually. So this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.